What's going on guys, Arrow here, and guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit more about the Pokemon game that's going to be coming onto the Nintendo Switch. Now I think that we can all agree that Nintendo has been pretty good at providing the types of games that fans really want. As I know for a long time we've always looked forward to like Nintendo events hoping that they would reveal something that the fans really want. And Nintendo, like with the Wii U, they just really didn't do that and they didn't have the types of games that we've wanted. I mean I know like so many people who have craved for a Metroid game for so long and Nintendo finally decided to announce a Metroid game last year at E3. They announced that Metroid Prime 4 is in fact going to be coming onto the Nintendo Switch. And then for the longest time, people were like, please bring Smash Bros. onto the Nintendo Switch. I mean, we already knew that Smash Bros. was going to come eventually, but who knew in a March Direct, they would just say like, oh yeah, Smash Bros. is coming to the Nintendo Switch. And so they had that awesome trailer. But yeah, there is one game or actually a handful of games, I guess, that are still left on that list. I know Animal Crossing is probably one of them that people really want to see on the Nintendo Switch. But also another one is Pokemon. As we know that there is a Pokemon game, we know it's being worked on every day. There's probably a lot of people working on on it but there is a pokemon game that's going to be coming onto the nintendo switch it's just a matter of when it's going to be coming out and when they're actually going to reveal it now, if you're on the 2018 team for when you think that this Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch is going to come out, I think that the time is ticking down and I think Game Freak really would need to reveal this game soon if it in fact is coming this year. I think there's definitely not that much time left. I think maybe the next month or so like they would have until they uh, they could reveal the game before I think it just pretty much rules out a 2018 release. I mean, obviously we know in Nintendo's documents it says 2018 or later. That's what it says in their official documents. We know certain games that we know are probably not going to be coming out this year. They have been marked as TBA or to be announced like uh, Metroid Prime 4 and Bayonetta 3 But Pokemon for a while has always just said 2018 or later Implying that it could come out this year or it could come out next year And I know a lot of people think that it is coming out this year I personally still think that it's going to be coming out in 2019 I think that there's really no reason that they would even need a Pokemon game at this point I mean Smash Bros being announced already there's so much hype around that I think it's already going to be an amazing year for the Nintendo Switch Just from Smash Bros alone and I'm sure Nintendo's going to have some other surprises that they, they would want to show off at E3. There's probably going to be Fire Emblem, which we already know is coming out this year as well. So it doesn't need to have Pokemon this year to be a successful year for the Switch. I think if it comes out, obviously it's going to be an amazing year this year if we get Pokemon and Smash Bros, along with Fire Emblem and some other awesome games, I'm sure, as well. But if Pokemon comes out next year, I think it'll be really cool. And I personally really want that to be the case. I think if Game Freak has the most time to develop this game, they could probably make an amazing game if they get the full year next year as well. Maybe even not the full year. Maybe we won't have to wait until like holiday 2020. 2019 for this game to release but maybe if it comes out during like the summertime or springtime as well that would be a pretty good launch for this pokemon game as well but yeah, if you are on the boat for having a 2018 release for the Pokemon Switch game, then there is some good news for you, as it looks like it might happen, and that's what I want to talk to you about today, as we've got some job listings that have appeared on the Pokemon website that I want to talk about that could give us an idea of how the development is coming along for Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. Now in a minute, I'm going to go to the official Pokemon website and show you all the job listings that are on there, and then go through the important ones that just popped up recently and give you guys my opinion on them. But before we get started, I do want to let you guys know that there is no type of official confirmation within these job listings that tells you right away if this is going to be for Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. I'm just going to give you guys my idea as to why I think it makes sense for Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. As you'll see with these job listings, they kind of just make sense to be for Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. I don't really see uh, other stuff that it could be for, but that doesn't mean that it can't be for something else. As we all know that Pokemon, there's a whole bunch of stuff that Pokemon works on. They've got like apps, they've got the video games, the trading cards, there's a bunch of stuff. So it could very well just be for something else, but I definitely think there is a chance that it's probably for Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. Alright, so here we are on the official Pokemon website, and you can see right here that these are all the Pokemon careers that they have, and these are all the open job listings that they have. Now, the one that I want to focus specifically on is right here with the localization stuff. As these localization job listings uh, came up recently, and you can see right here they're asking for localization editors with a 6 month minimum contract. And from the time that this came up, I think it came up during like late February, if we have a 6 month contract added to that, that would put it sort of right at like the end of August as to when the contract would end. Now you can see right here there's different languages right here, so you got like German and Spanish, French and Italian, so all of them are asking uh, you to translate from Japanese, as we all know that Pokemon is developed in the Japanese language initially, and then these are like localization for different languages. So yeah, we can click on any of these here because the description is the same for all of them. 
but yeah you can see right here so like if we click on the spanish one here it says the description we will be looking for a localization editor in the coming months for spanish the localization editor in a six month fixed term contract is a member of the editing team and works closely with the other localization editors translators and project coordinators and all of the e editorial facets of video games and related uh, materials including the video game strategy guide and the video game website in spanish so this is like if they talk about like you know whenever we get some pokemon trailers and stuff like that the whole pokemon website gets updated and they have a whole bunch of information about these pokemon i remember back when like sun and moon was coming out and whenever they'd reveal a new pokemon you could go onto the website and read a whole bunch of info about them and like their height and weight and stuff like that so i'm pretty sure like this is the type of job for them as well so you're going to be working on that with like the different pokemons and stuff like that translating that info for the website as well as the video game as well and it says here's a strategy guide so like the strategy guide and the book that you can get if you buy the game and the strategy guide as well so there's a lot of different things here that they can translate and it says right here like with the primary responsibilities uh editing and including contact and copy editing of the rules text and other game related text uh, like the review of possible editing in game related rules text, uh, proof and revising stuff, you got reporting the process of in-house management, and the knowledge is just asking you to be like a team worker working with like a team of people and just like having some experience with the language obviously you need to be pretty fluent at the language to be able to be a localization editor but yeah there's just some it's just a little bit fishy how this stuff pops up here and i think it could be for pokemon on the nintendo switch especially with the six month minimum contract i think if they can get a lot of people here and that's probably why they have these job listings open if they want to get a lot of people in here and try to get these things worked on so that they can get pokemon out really fast for the nintendo switch i think it makes a lot of sense now that's just for the localization editor as there's also another localization one that came up recently as well and this is for the localization associate so if we click on the localization associate this says right here localization associate uh, from the tech team is responsible for supporting the organization's product development and marketing activities day-to-day -day tasks in include a diverse range of responsibilities such as digital promotion or digital production my bad uh, asset management knowledge base creation and pro uh, project coordination support which are all related to the organization's video game products now here's pretty, uh, some interesting stuff it says here the responsibilities are from in-game screenshots and video creation the DLC data preparation and testing video game hardware and software asset management uh, game content knowledge base creation and maintenance to support internal teams and project coordination support as necessary so it's pretty cool how here they're talking about like DLC and stuff like that as well meaning maybe there could be some DLC and stuff like that they're asking uh, to be localized but I think it's just interesting how all this localization stuff pops up right now and maybe it means that Pokemon is in fact asking to be localized right now and that could mean that the Pokemon process or like the process for this Pokemon game is pretty far into development as well if, as if now they're already getting to the localization process that would probably mean that the game is pretty much done they've already got the story and everything done as well now it's just like the final steps to get the game uh, localized into different languages so that they can get the release out real soon so I think that's pretty cool and also a thing about the localization is obviously whenever Pokemon is going to be like revealed to us or when this game is going to be revealed it's not only going to be revealed to us in like Japanese or whatever they want to have it like gameplay I'm sure when they show the gameplay they want to have it available in different languages so they could ask uh, they could just be asking here for different uh, localization editors so that they can work on the trailers and the reveal trailers and stuff like that for when Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch gets revealed so that they can have like footage for stuff in English and German and Spanish and all of these other different languages so the last job listing on here that i wanted to discuss a little more in detail with you guys was right here where it says editor and this also came up pretty recently and it's a two-year fixed term contract but with the primary responsibilities here it says editing and proofreading a wide variety of material related to video games such as game tag strategy guides manuals press releases marketing materials and more now this also recently popped up with some of the other job listings but this one here it says editing and proofreading whereas the other one i think was just asking you to like translate stuff as that's what localization teams do so here this would be just like making sure that everything is translated properly making sure that everything makes sense and all the grammar and everything like that is good in the pokemon games you don't want any types of mistakes like that like we know that there's been some uh, weird grammar that has popped up when uh, the person who's in charge of this stuff doesn't do a good job so yeah i think that this is pretty cool but i think just because of how it says two year fixed term contract here it could mean that the pokemon switch game might come out next year because of how it's a two year fixed term i don't know how this exactly works but i think it could mean that that's the case but either way i think that there's definitely a lot of stuff and if this pop uh, if this job listing popped up now it might mean that the pokemon switch game is actually further along in development than we think it is i mean i know i keep saying that i think that the game is coming out in 2019 but who 
knows maybe it could actually come out this year especially with the localization listings popping up real soon right now and like how they're asking for a six month minimum contract to be able to get all of that localization done as well as here how they're asking for proofreading and stuff like that with the advertisements and the posters and stuff that i'm sure they're talking about with like the marketing materials for this game maybe pokemon switch is actually further along in development and it could be coming out this year and either way we already know that the nintendo switch is going to have a very successful year with smash bros and all the hype around that but if we can get smash bros this year and pokemon on the nintendo switch this year is definitely going to be insane for the nintendo switch and so there you go guys, that's all the information that we have here for these job listings that could potentially be for Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please be sure to click that like button, and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think of these job listings. Do you think it's really unusual how they're asking for editors right now for localization and stuff like that? Do you think it's for Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch, and do you think that the game is coming out this year, or it's going to be coming out next year? Be sure to let me know all of your thoughts down below. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe. I'm definitely going to have some more Pokemon content in the future, so be sure to subscribe you don't miss out on that go follow me on twitter at actual arrow if you ever want to tweet me something or send me something i'm usually able to reply to everyone on twitter so definitely go and follow me there and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching